Thanks for joining me in finding out who is hacking me. Now, take a look behind me here. This is a syslog server. So it basically stands for system logs. And what it does is it goes to all the devices that are on my network, you know, such as routers, firewalls, switches, things like that. Everybody's got one of these in their corporate environment. And of course, at home, everybody's got uh, a firewall slash router from their internet provider. And what's happening is, is that I set up all of our devices. And some of these are wireless access points. Some of these are switches from Cisco. Some are switches from other brands and the firewalls are all Cisco ASA firewalls. And I said, point all of your logs to go to this server. In this case, it's a Windows 10 computer that I installed this Windows system log uh, software on. And the software costs a couple of hundred dollars. It's not very expensive. Uh, you can also find some free ones out there as well, but I found that this one does a pretty good job. It also can send email alerts as well as if, if you set up certain types of thresholds. So the big question is, is who's hacking me? Who's trying to hack me? You know, what's going on? We, we're constantly hearing, you know, it's Russia, it's China. It's, you know, I've got live logs going on behind me right here. These are, are people that are, are trying to hack me right this minute trying to hack into my network to steal my stuff, encrypt my data, do terrible things to me. And uh, it's flying through here pretty quick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take just a few of the logs, just completely random logs, and find out who they are and show you how to find out who's trying to hack you as well. Let's take a look. I'm gonna stop my syslog server for just a second. And I'm gonna focus just on one particular firewall. I've actually got about five different firewalls all working at the same time. So I'm going to take a look at the logs that you see here. Now I'm going to double click on any one of these logs, but first what I want to do is I want to go out to the internet and I want to open up a couple of websites. For those of you who are not familiar, there is a service out there called Aaron.net and this is the American Registry of Information Numbers. There's also another one for Asia called ripe.net. And then there's other ones for South America as well as Africa. And what you do is you plug in the IP addresses of anybody who's trying to hack you and you can find out what country they're coming from. So I'm going to go into a log here. I'll just choose the very bottom one and I'll double click on it. And it tells me the source address is coming from 45 dot all these other places. So now I'm going to paste this in to my ripe.net. I'm pretty sure this is coming uh, from someplace in Asia. So I'm going to paste that in and let's see who it is. Because I've seen that 45 address before. So I'll scroll down and take a look and it'll tell me the country. And there's the country, RU, Russia. This is definitely coming from Russia, no doubt about it. All right, let's take a look at another one. Close that one. Let's open up the next one above it. And that one's coming from a 193 address. If it turns out that you plug it into the wrong website, then it'll tell you which one is the right website. So if I plug it into Ripe and it says, oh, this is coming from Africa or this is, you know, coming from, uh, you know, North America, then you'll just change which site you put it into. So I'll go ahead and hit back and we'll paste in and let's see who's trying to hack me now. And it is Russia, Russia again. Wow. Okay. They are busy little beavers, aren't they? Let's see who's next. Let's look at a 124 address. So let's paste that guy in and see who it is. I have no idea who it is until I paste it in. Ah, this one's coming from Africa. So uh, what, what's recommended here is we go to this particular website, afrinic.net. So let's take a look and see where that one's coming from. And this one says no results. So even though Asia says, hey, this belongs to Africa, Africa's saying, we don't know who this is. <laughs> so what we can do is we can trace route to it and take a look and see the route that it takes to that IP address. So I'm gonna open up a command prompt and then we'll paste in the address 
and then let's see where it goes. So it's going to hop out. I'm actually on Spectrum. So it's going to go out through Spectrum to Comcast. And it's going to continue on through. Oh, it's going through Seattle. And then it's going through Santa Clara, California. And it's going to Chiba and then Tokyo. There we go. And then uh, it went from 154.91 to this uh, 142.2 and then finally it got to our destination. So if the Africa website won't tell us where it is, I can go to another website that will give us a visual representation of how we're getting to this particular place. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this website called gsuite.tools forward slash traceroute. Now there's a lot of different companies uh, including SolarWinds who I don't recommend you go with at this point because they've been hacked by the Russians, of course. Um, and, uh, you know, you could, you could pay to get this same tool that I'm getting this for free just by going online. So I'm going to click on Trace, and then I'm going to scroll down, and we're going to watch all the different paths that this thing is taking to its final destination. So here it is right here. This is route number 19 and it's going to Thailand. So that's interesting because Asia said it was in Africa. Africa said we never heard of it, uh, but uh, in the G Suite tools, we're actually ending up uh, in ba Bangkok, Thailand. So we did it. We went in and we found the logs from the firewall. We took the IP addresses. We went to ripe.net. You can also go to Aaron.net, A-R-I-N, for uh, North America types of IP addresses. And then we went to G Suite Tools when we couldn't find it in Ripe or in the Africa one. And uh, we found who it is that's trying to hack us. So what do we do about it? Well, you can go into your firewall and you can block certain subnets. I'm not going to do that in this particular video because it also depends on which firewall brand you have. And you can just say, hey, if it's coming from this location or even this country, this just block it because every country is assigned a block of IP addresses, even China. They're all assigned blocks of IP addresses. So if you go into your firewall and say, hey, block this entire section of IP addresses, then you'll never have to worry that those IP addresses will hack. So can I still get hacked? Yes, you can. And here's why. Because these hackers that are in Russia and other places, they will hack into computers that are vulnerable, say, in the United States, and then they'll hack you from United States IP addresses. So you'll never actually know that it was coming from Russia, so you won't be able to block it in that way. However, clearly, we can block a lot of bad traffic from a lot of bad people simply by blocking specific subnets. And you can look up those subnets just by doing a quick Google search and say, uh, you know, what IP address subnets are coming out of Asia or which one's coming out of Africa or, or South America, whatever area it is that you're having a problem with after looking at your syslogs. Uh, and the syslogs are really helpful. They're uh, very quick and easy to set up, typically set up through your web graphical user interface or just a few command lines. So then you can block all these people from attempting to hack into your network. So hopefully you'll learn something today. Maybe you'll be able to uh, block some of these uh, bad actors and uh, hopefully you'll be able to stay safe going forward.